Yeah. Yeah. That is it. <laughs> Woo. Woo. All right. I'm Adam Levin at Chuck Levin's Washington Music Center, and I am here with Austin from Boss Effects. What's up, everybody? Thanks for having me, Adam. Thank you for being here, and we are here to introduce the world to the latest in the 200 series of Boss Pedals, the SY200. Yeah, the SY200, is, as you heard in the sound clip before, this is, uh, this is quite the fun in a box. I mean, it's got 171 different sound engines. Uh, you have a, a range of different types of synth engines as well. A couple of basic controls like uh, tone and depth and ambience and stuff like that and resonance. Uh, you can also blend in the direct level. Uh, what's really cool about this thing is that you now have selectable presets. So if you're familiar with the SY1, the compact version, right? You liked so many of the sounds out of it, but you had to buy multiple SY1s to get all of those sounds. So now you can save them to different presets and you can activate them via MIDI. Um, and you can also store them in there to call them as you like. It's awesome. So this is like the middle child in the SY synth pedal range. It kind of sits between the SY1 and the SY300 of yes. the guitar tracking type of pedal. So no. No special pickup needed, nothing. Yep. Just straight. Dr straight guitar, quarter inch jack into the pedal and you can get real weird with it. Yeah, fully polyphonic um, uh, tones as well as uh, really, really nice uh, tracking. As you kind of heard, I was doing all the bends and there was like some heavy gain going on there. Still tracked everything really, really nicely. It's just yeah. kind of where everything is heard. You hear the guitarisms and stuff like that, which I think is really important for like a synth pedal. Um, and you're right, this would definitely fit in between the SY1 and SY300. And uh, this is more of an upgrade of the SY1, so again, saveable presets of all my favorite SY1 sounds. Whereas the SY300 gives you like a, a whole plethora of like synthesizer controls, like the shape of the oscillator and uh, the LFO and all that other stuff. Whereas this kind of gives you everything that you're looking for just right out of the box with a couple of really basic controls works really good for like a small frame pedal board like this and sure. still like enough enough knobs to really get in there and tweak a little bit and adjust some settings not not quite as robust as a sy300 but still you can get in there and uh and dial in that sound the way that you wanted to get on any any given preset oh yeah totally i mean like for for example um uh, especially with pad stuff so uh this control button right here uh out of the box it just switches between different memory slots right so i press it once it goes up in the memory slot uh, but it also works as an external control so you can use it to do things like hold functions uh in certain oscillators you can also pitch them as well so you can kind of get some nice little like pitch blends so for example if i wanted to uh, uh do like kind of like this ethereal type of synthesizer sound, I can kind of just do a uh, press and hold on the button now, it just lasts forever. And then the cool part is, is that I actually have this angry driver uh, in the effects loop okay. of the SY200. So it's only going to affect the dry signal when I go ahead and turn it on. And when I turn it on, I can get kind of this... Uh, But also because there's MIDI on this thing now, I can actually add extra buttons and controls over MIDI sections. So for example, if I go ahead and push this button, it brings the pitch of the synthesizer awesome. down because there's a pitch control on there. Now I change the key of the hold, it's now in C sharp. So again, really, really cool controls awesome. that you can have all those features. And, and again, because SY1 was like very much like an analog style of control and interface, uh, you weren't able to like actually dial in controls like that to do that kind of stuff. So, and then the next step up from there was the 300 and the 300 is, is a great unit it's just got a lot, a lot of controls in there. And sometimes with something like this, especially being so small, just delivers you the sounds that you want 
couple of basic controls right on the top and it's really really simple and you mentioned small i mean that's why 300 you ain't going to bring that thing around on a pedal board that is the whole pedal board so Basically. this is getting a lot of those features on the, that you can fit onto a pedal board along with your you know your distortions and your other effects so that you can really rock with this thing gig with it oh totally 100 percent. i mean like i feel like i feel like a lot of the um uh, a lot of the powers of the sy 300 was also because there were internal effects inside of it so you had like things like delay and modulation and reverb and all that stuff. So, so you're right. You you would basically take the SY300 out, and that would also be your guitar rig pedal board. So you have your dry signal. You can go through it connected to an amp. Um, but again, what really like what really makes the SY200 like really really special is that a it's so small that I can incorporate it with the rest of my other pedals. And the best part is is that running pedals into it or out of it just make it sound that much better. Gives you the extras that the SY300 had. That you can now link up with the SY uh, the SY200 here, for example. Like let's say like for like some gnarly bass tones, you know. <laughs> Again, full track, just not a single note miss. That is fast. Yeah, and it. and you can also do all the guitarisms and the oscillators respond to the the picking dynamics and stuff. And this is also reflected in bass too. It does work on bass. As That's well. wild. That's instant stank face right there. That is <laughs> that is the stuff. Oh yeah, it is. And I mean, like, even not just for like the pad stuff and everything, but like the leads really, really shine too. And I'm I'm a personal favorite of just distorting the hell out of everything. So I like throwing the synthesizer on with a little bit of lead uh, uh, kind of distortion pedal kind of tones. Kind of makes it like really, really fat and sing. <laughs> And to do that, we actually go in and we actually actually turn on the actual effects loop, which is really, really simple. Menu, send, return, instead of going on the direct sound, now it's on the actual synthesizer and it sounds like this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, really nice. I awesome. mean, like even even from you know just like lead tones and stuff. I mean, I'm a I'm a big fan of old video games like Super Nintendo. So obviously things like this. Oh, we all. Again, like just like really really fun like noisemaker type stuff. You know, that's just like you know. So outside of like, you know, just an overdrive pedal or just like a delay pedal or anything like you that. You can get out there. You can get really, really out there with your sounds. And again, you can blend these with your clean tone. You can throw pedals after it. You can throw pedals into it. You can throw pedals into the effects loop. You can hook up expression pedals to it as well as do stuff crazy with uh, with MIDI and everything, which is kind of uh, what I'm doing here. Um, but yeah, SY200, super, super powerful little thing. Super easy to use. Again, quarter inch, nothing fancy. Easy. Just really wild sound just slap it on the board and just let it do its thing yeah exactly and um and and again on board you get about 171 different synthesizer sounds overall the variation so and you have a, 128 saveable spots inside of the whole thing so even if you were to save each individual sound over the pedal you wouldn't be able to get them all <laughs> Um, but yeah, those are really cool. There's a couple of extra modes on here that are different from the SY1. So the new ones are dual. So dual kind of combines like some of the lead and pad tones together and just mixes them all into like one unique sound. Uh, and then you also get sweep and noise as awesome. well. So you get a couple of little extra things in there too. Again, the menu set is really, really easy to, uh, easy to use. You can save a bunch of spots to it, add buttons. You know, just and if someone's it. if someone's thinking about putting this on their pedal board, kind of where does it sit in the chain? Like, how do you incorporate this into a rig if you want to get real wacky with it? Where are you where are you putting this thing? Yeah, um, I think uh, uh, again, I'm I'm a guy that'll definitely say that like pedal board order is subjective, so it's really up to the, the player to to really you know figure out what they want. Um, for me personally, I find that the SY200 works best when you put it as close to the beginning of the chain as possible. You know, it takes compression really really well. It also takes overdrive into the front really well. Um, but again, it's going to change the texture of the sound whether you put it before or after it. So as close to the beginning as you can, 
But I've seen a lot of people get really, really weird with their pedal board order and sound fantastic. So it's open-ended, but my personal preference would be as close to the beginning as possible. Because you get the most dynamics and the most guitarisms that translate into the, 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 uh, the oscillator sounds. And the, 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 the effect sound is super cool that you can incorporate all those other pedals on the dry signal without having to compromise the synth tones at all. Like you can get, you, mm -hmm. can, you can layer it up and get, get real thick with it. Oh yeah, you can throw fuzzes in there, ODs, like you can throw choruses in there, you can throw whatever you want in there. And uh, it's actually saveable per slot. So you can have the effects pedals cover just the direct signal mm -hmm. or the entire signal as a whole, and you can save that over multiple slots, which I thought was like really, really cool. <laughs> I can just, awesome. you know, my pads, I want like, you know, like just a nice driven guitar on top of it with this light pad on the bottom. But then sometimes when like you want to go for like a super thick, like kind of crunchy lead, you just want to slap the overdrive right on top of it and just give it some girth and yeah. some gain. So having that freedom is really, really cool. Awesome. So you, you want to give us a couple other, you know, sound demos and let's dive into it a little bit? Yeah, sure. So uh, a couple of extra things I have in here. I actually have like a nice like kind of filtery bass type of sound. A little bit more stinky, a little bit more thicker. It also responds to picking dynamics just like the other synthesizers. That's awesome. You know, some, you know, you could you could understand a pedal so well, and then when you're playing it in a different scenario or doing something different, it like shows a new sound for you. So, so using the polyphonic bass sounds like just gives you like this like kind of like warbly. Just handles it so well, though. It really does. I mean, like, and, I mean, that, and that, that could get really weird with it in some other situations. Like, that is tight. Yeah, especially with especially with low frequency and, and polyphony. Like, you you tend to find that it's really hard to get each individual tone to stick out. Yeah. Whereas, you know, the blend of the dry as well as you know the the technology over quarter inch is just lending itself to having all of those notes actually fit into the sound really well. Um, and then some of my other favorite lead sounds in here is obviously like a square wave, you know, you're doing something thick, you're doing something funky, you know, so actually let me go ahead and lay down a little beat on here. I said about adding effects before and after. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some delay after it, and I'm going to go ahead and throw this angry driver on before it inside the effects loop. And now we're left with something like this. pedals to it, doing stuff to the texture, changes a lot of the sound, but the interaction between the player and the synth like really make a difference in the part, you know, because back in the day you had to have like a hexaphonic pickup or like a special pickup mount and, uh, you know, technology's come a long way since then, since we actually invented guitar synth a long yeah. time ago. Um, and it's come a long way, especially in the world of quarter inch and, you know, uh, more guitar players wanting to use different guitars or their own guitars or basses or vocals. I've heard people sing through these things. Mm. Like, it's, it's crazy what you can do with this thing. That's awesome. It's such a wide open platform. It's so cool. 
and it's uh, it's super affordable too. It comes in at two ninety nine ninety nine, and uh, if you're looking for some wacky, wild synth sounds, yeah, coming at you twenty twenty two this winter, it's awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be great. I mean, like skip out on uh, struggling through the MIDI keyboard. Just uh, get an SY one and keep playing right guitar. There. Hell yeah! <laughs> cool, cool. Anything else we should check out? Um, other than that, you should check out more Boss products at boss.info, and you can find a lot of those Boss products at Chuck Levin's Washington Music Center. That's it. That's SY200 it, coming SY200, at you later this fall. Baby. Thank you. Thank you.